What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Good Old Boys channel. This is going to be an update to the swing arm bushing update video. And honestly, I'm going to upload these three all together because you really need to watch all three. So if you're watching this one and not the other ones, you need to go back and watch other ones just because it's going to benefit you guys. Um, and it will give you a good understanding of what I'm talking about here with the swing arm bushings. So first of all, I wanted to start out by saying we have uh, let's see here, 89 more miles than we had at the very beginning of the swing arm replacement video, swing arm bushing replacement video. I've done quite a bit of off-road riding and some really rough riding on this thing in those 88 miles. And uh, one of the ways you guys can tell that is if you go back to some of my videos, uh, some of the time we're doing road riding, right? So you can put 100 miles on in two hours or something, right? And one of the ways you can tell that I've been doing a lot of off-road riding and, and that kind of thing is, you know, I'll only go, say, 100 miles or 50 miles and you'll have like 10 hours on the clock here for 100 hours. So the difference is uh, you're riding a lot more hours when you're off-road because you're going a lot slower and, of course, everything's a lot rougher. So needless to say, I've done a decent bit of testing on this uh, swing arm bushing setup and i ended up going with the red bushings as you guys know the polyurethane bushings and i just wanted to talk about the reliability and the ride mostly uh those are the two main things that were kind of a big question in the swing arm bushing replacement video all right guys so with full confidence i can tell you guys that these bushings are working out really well um as you guys know because I put polyurethane bushings in here, there's no more, there's no metal contact all the way through from side to side. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. With the stock bushings, you have metal contact from uh, one side of the bike frame all the way to the other side. When you pinch it together, it's a solid tight fit. With these polyurethane bushings, you don't have that. So one of the concerns was that this bolt might possibly back off come out come loose stuff like that and throughout the 88 miles of hard off-road riding i've had no such thing i haven't tightened this thing not even once like i said when i tighten this down where i stretch the frame I ha you have to stretch the frame to get these bushings fit but uh, i tightened it down as tight as i could get it and uh, I haven't had any issues it hasn't came loose i've never tightened it since the swing arm bushing video so as far as bolts just falling out, it's not gonna happen. Uh, now, of course, like I always say, you guys may have a different experience. So, uh, and of course the safest thing to do is always to go with the factory bushings or a bushing that's as close to factory as you can get. For me, I'm really liking the polyurethane bushing so far. All right, now the second question, uh, how does it ride with these polyurethane bushings? And it rides really, really good. You know, I can't exactly remember how the old original bushings rode when this thing was brand new, but uh, I can tell you guys that back to back riding with the other bushings, the older bushings with the kind of worn out bushings, then I had the piece of fuel tubing in there. These bushings ride 110 times better. Uh, it used to be that you'd go over very small bumps and you would feel every little crack in the road coming up through the rear suspension into the bike and into the seat where you're sitting. Now, it's very, very smooth. Uh, I, as some of you guys may know, I have some back issues and so if you're constantly getting jarred all around on small bumps on the road, it's literally a pain in the butt. So, so with these polyurethane bushings, it really honestly has improved the ride quite a bit. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully this is the last update on these swing arm bushings. Uh, like I said, I fully recommend the polyurethane bushings, but put them in your bike at your own risk. Like I said, uh, if you want to be 110% safe, you're just going to have to find the factory bushings, which I know, guys, is pretty much impossible to do. Uh, so that's a whole nother story. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box below. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Woo.
our humanity.